You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. Good Monday morning morning to you, sir. Hey, morning, guys. Let's blow out some birthday candles, shall we? (sighs) Shall we? Tina Fey is 50 today. Oh, nice. It's kind of like Tina. She's just a whole heck of a lot of fun. I didn't realize she would be 50. I thought she was younger than me. Somebody has to be 50 at some point. No, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. Okay. It's not a contest, John. I know. (laughs) (laughs) Hall of Famer, Mr. October, one of the baseball greats in the history of baseball greats. Hall of Famer, 14-time All-Star, and one of the biggest hot dogs to ever play the game, Reggie Jackson. See, I was going to try to guess some baseball names, but I couldn't think of anybody. (laughs) I couldn't think of a single one. (laughs) Babe Ruth is all I could think of. (laughs) My all-time favorite pope... Pope John Paul II, the 264th Pope. couple of things. He's Polish. Yay. He's a pretty cool Pope. And John Paul. He's two of the four Beatles. So. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> when I was a kid, I, uh, I called myself Pope John Small the first. Uh-huh. Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> 1974, the number one song in the country was what? For a million dollars. 1974? 1974, number one. It was huge. It was also a national fad, if not an all hobby, kind of a pastime. MCA. Kind of. This was a little more risque. It was Ray Stevens' The Streak. Oh, yeah. Ah, I remember the that. The Streak, one of my favorite my only favorite streak memory. I went to a high school. We had a enrollment of about 2,200 kids. Huge commons area. And there was a, a kid one year older than me, and I'll say his name because why not? Craig Klein. Okay. Craig Klein was a little goofy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wore pop bottle bottom thick glasses. <laughs> and he had an unusual voice. He, he had kind of a sing-songy voice. Okay. So it's lunchtime at Armstrong High School in Minneapolis, and oh. all of a sudden, the crowds of kids are parting and clapping and going crazy, because here comes a naked fella in a oh. red ski mask. Mm. <laughs> the idea was to keep your identity secret, so you got the ski mask, but this particular gentleman is wearing Those really thick eyeglasses <laughs> on the outside of the ski mask. <laughs> And telling people he's coming through in that unique <laughs> voice of his. <laughs> and he was surprised when he got called to the office. <laughs> How did you know it was me? That is when Craig became a legend oh, that's at cool. Armstrong High that's School. Amazing. So there you go. One other uh, note of interest here was 1860. The Republican Party, 1860, nominates gentleman named abraham lincoln nice for Young president and well done it wasn't more than a day later russia immediately got busy meddling colluding and generally screwing around and posting propaganda on facebook i don't think they did that back then but they might have dan thanks for uh, all of that fabulous information I wonder where Craig Klein is. He's probably the CEO of some international company. <laughs> I think we should look him up and call him. I have a picture in my head that red ski mask with those glasses. Like, That's dude, hilarious. seriously? <laughs> Not like you need a you know a birthmark or something. We pretty much know what's <laughs> happening here. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris, brought to you by, what's this? Notary Barn. It's the craziest notary event of the year. It's crazy days at Notary Barn at Lake Lorraine. Not really a lake. The Notary Barn has gone crazy, and you're going to get crazy savings on everything notary. Save 50% on marriage license applications, up to 60% on last will and testament notarizations, buy four gun permit notarizations, and your fifth one is free. But that's not all there'll be free balloons and face stamping for the kids a free seminar on notaries through the ages hosted by notary barn assistant manager karen lindquist plus world-renowned notary and author heidi jean will be doing a book signing of her new controversial best-selling memoir rubber stamping and back alley vamping crazy days at the notary barn one day only this thursday friday and saturday the notary barn at lake lorraine not really a lake south marion road sioux falls now more than 
than ever, you need a credit card that offers what you need. Some cards have high rates. Some have annual fees. Some are just not very good. Usually people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If you've done that, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes. You may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card probably won't tell you, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at bettercreditcards.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm roof tough and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on them critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger, Ranger Dan. Dan. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Two favorite little people on the God's green earth. John, good to see you. It really is. Hi, Heidi. See you, too. Hey, Heidi. Ranger Dan. Heidi, hey, Heidi, ho. <laughs> My little muffin of love. <laughs> Heidi, let's talk anatomy, shall we? Because it's interesting, as you know, Heidi, that your body's made up of 65% water. Really? Oh, old Ranger Dan's feeling a little parched. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a kidder. Put the slingshot down. John. We're, we're all friends here. Hey, I thought it had been a while. We just, why don't we dive into the old Ranger Dan mailbag and see what uh, what some of the fans are up to. Maybe make an inquiry, see what's going on here. Let's see. we got play uh, mail. Uh, let's see. DOJ. Nope. Treasury Department. <laughs> uh, DEA. IRS. Again. I think they'd have something better to do. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Dear Ranger Dan, absolutely love your show. Your knowledge of critters and nature. Oh, wait, excuse me. Nature. Ha ha ha. <laughs> is amazing. It is. But the reason I'm writing to you, well, has to do with a little bit of uh, business about some Ranger Dan merchandise that I recently purchased. Oh, yeah. I ordered some of that official Ranger Dan hand sanitizer. Oh, he's the one. About seven weeks ago, and... uh Finally arrived last Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I purchased the Ranger Dan six pack sanitizer for twenty nine ninety five plus shipping, and I was a little bit surprised when I opened the box to find what appears to be just about half a dozen bars of those little little mini soaps you find in <laughs> motels and hotels. <laughs> in fact, I uh, peeled back one of the. Hastily tasted Ranger Dan labels. <laughs> Seems to read Motel 6. <laughs> no, I don't want to make a big issue out of this, but for twenty nine ninety five plus shipping, I just don't feel the Ranger Dan hand sanitizer is a real good value. <laughs> Signed, again, love the show. Your biggest fans, Roland Lindquist. <laughs> Nice. Well, a lot to uh, a lot to unpack here. Uh, There's a lot going on there. <laughs> uh, Raleigh, can I call you Raleigh? Raleigh uh, first off, congratulations on uh, on on your purchase. Yeah. Nice to see it arrived on time because you paid the extra seventeen ninety five for next day delivery. <laughs> as far as value is concerned. <laughs> last time I checked, uh, there Reggie. <laughs> America is still pretty much run on free market capitalism. And, uh, it's really about supply, demand, market share, etc. So pay attention here, Ronnie. This is where it gets intense. <laughs> so, you know, that hand sanitizer just didn't appear by magic. Nope. There's research, there's development, there's focus groups, hmm. there's government regulations. And believe it or not, there, Randy. Even child labor has to eat every couple of days. <laughs> so tell you what, Ronnie, if not happy with your Ranger Dan purchase, how about you take your recently received twelve hundred dollar relief check, maybe book a one way flight to Venezuela, march in the streets because there is no hand sanitizer. Take a dozen rubber bullets to the chest, tank mounted water cannon blast to the face, and uh 
Maybe <laughs> snack on some back alley feral cat to stay alive. That's <laughs> Wow. That might change your tune about about real, real value. You should really t- tell us how you feel oh. about all this. Yeah. Appreciate you listening, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> Fans like you that, that make this, this job worth it. And uh, enjoy your official Ranger Dan hand sanitizer. <laughs> oh, All the time we have today, little Radio Rangers. Ranger Dan, just keep safe. Remember what doesn't kill you? I'm going to make strongers up for beers and murder hornets. It'll kill you every darn time. Is Ranger Dan out? Say it with me. Yes, Yes, sir. Introducing InsuranceChicken.com. Why InsuranceChicken.com? Why not? Another insurance company has a duck, one has an emu, and that other company has a lizard. So InsuranceChicken.com is no more silly than any of those. Is it time for you to cross the road for your insurance? Don't be chicken. Check out InsuranceChicken.com. We'll help you peck out the best insurance rates we can find at InsuranceChicken.com. That's InsuranceChicken.com. Time now for Water Cooler Talk with Mr. Dan Ferris back in the studio with his Water Cooler Talk info. In hand. It's not really in hand. It's on the computer, it looks like. <laughs> I got this fancy computer all punched up here, and uh, thanks to all my friends over at Dakota News Now. Oh, nice. For a long, and we were, we, we have talked about this a couple of times, especially I think about last week when you finally really geared up and you have that really, really cool mask of yours. Oh, yeah. And, I got an awesome and the mask. hat and your aviator shades, oh, yeah. and it oh, looks yeah. like. This guy is going to hold up a bag. Every time I walk into a store, I feel like everybody looks at me like I'm going to rob the place. Well, now, and that's kind of what's happening. I'm oh, sure it is. What is going on, and so many people now in masks and, and uh, whatnot. Some, uh, some jack wagon held up the get-and-go. <laughs> yeah. Jack wagon. On South Cliff Avenue uh, this past Wednesday. Technical term there. And he's got on the hoodie, but he's wearing the ski mask and everything else. And, and you look at it and you go, well, yeah, that looks like your everyday shopper anymore. No, no kidding. Yep. But no. So he was not there to social distance. No, and he, uh, he held the place up. And ATF got involved because this loser pulled a pistol. Okay. You no, know, and this is just, you know, I am not here to judge anything. No. But if you're going to rob the place... You know, the, the price of fame goes way up if you've weaponized the you thing. You bet. Way up. You jerk a gun, you can tack 5 to 10 on oh, it when, yeah. when they snag $5,000 reward. Oh, I thought you were going to say that's how much he got. Because oh, I wow. doubt he even got that much. No, because, you know, places get held up, casino, whatever, whatever. And, and you read about it all the time, but I've yeah, never everybody. seen a reward tacked onto it. This is 5000 bucks they placed on this dude's head now. Well, most so. everybody uses a car. I was going to say, when is the rarely. last time you saw anybody pay cash? Dan pays cash. Does I he? pay cash. Do you really? I never use You're a card one, for huh? anything. <laughs> I use a card for everything. I had a Girl Scout that tried to so buy me. Are gonna rob a place cookies. rob it after day no, because gone. this is how it works anymore and i get it everybody uses cars but when i shop i go to the grocery store and i will stand there behind maybe two people maybe three people they all have cars and they all say uh you want to try that again <laughs> i'll put that in there again then hit that then try that again and i'm standing there with two 20s in my hand going hey losers <laughs> Can I just buy my food? There's a thing called money, and it seems to go a whole lot faster. It doesn't. And then they got to get change, and then they got to count. Well, I don't know what's back. wrong with this card. I had $100 on it. And then two hours later, yeah. beep, zoop, beep, well, I'll come around and help you. Beep, beep, beep. Can I go back and get some cold food now? This oh. is all All right. Well, Dan, thank you for that very, very uh, vocal opinion. Well, I mean, I'm all uh, riled up now. Report. Uh, we'll have some entertainment news coming up here in a bit. And your bright spot of news Love brought it. to you by our friends at uh, Paul's Designer Showroom. That's coming up next. Anybody else about ready for a vacation? This October, we're going to Cancun for an amazing event called The Sands. Awesome music from Billy Idol, Belinda Carlisle, Cheap Trick, and so many more. This event happens at the end of October, so when everything blows over, we're all going to need a vacation. So join us for this one. We've been to this event the last three years, met some amazing people, and it is so much fun. Get all of the information and get your spot reserved to join us at the sands.rocks. That's the sands.rocks. Time now for our bright spot of news, and it starts with an apology, Heidi. Oh. On Friday, we were saying Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort was oh, yeah. opening Friday. Yeah. Because we read that it was going to. Well, I had called yeah. and they said it was going it to. changed, though, because oh, Iowa changed I know, some rules. It's heartbreaking. So now it's not till, I believe, next Wednesday. But. But it's coming. It's coming. And 
You can golf starting today. Well, that's pretty great. I have that on good authority. Let me check my notes. Yes, it is true. (laughs) Are you sure, John? You said that last week. (laughs) It might not. Who knows? It might have changed. I know for sure. So you can, if you would like to golf at the Falls Golf Course, at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort, you can go out there starting today. So I just clicked on the website, vfallsgolfcourse.com, and you can actually click right here, and uh, you can schedule a a time, or you can call. And the thing that's nice, they even have a military discount, 25% discount. That's a great discount. So if you're you're a veteran or active duty military, bring your military ID, and you can uh, can get a little discount there as well. And they do a thing that we've been involved in helping promote over the last several years, the Give Foundation, Golf for Injured Veterans Everywhere is such a great program. It's a wonderful. And you can get all the information about that also at thefallsgolfcourse.com. And uh, again, I apologize for getting everybody's hopes up. Had somebody that was really disappointed with me last Friday oh, because yeah. of that. Yeah. I felt so bad. Because we had said that they were open yep. because that's what the date originally was, but it changed. It wasn't because Grand Falls wanted to change it, but the state of Iowa changed right. it. So. Uh, and they want to make sure they're doing everything right. So, again, uh, stay tuned for all the details on when they do officially open for reals. But the golf course is open for real starting today. Thank you so much for listening to your bright spot of news. You can book your golf at thefallsgolfcourse.com. It's a tough time, but we will get through this together. If you have the means, we encourage you to participate in the gift card challenge. That's a simple thing you can do to help people around you. Just buy a gift card from one of your favorite local businesses, then use it when things get back to normal. Or be a rock star and give it to someone working on the front lines to keep us safe. Either way, when you buy the gift card, post a photo on social media with hashtag gift card challenge. Learn more at giftcardchallenge.org. And it's time right now for a little bit of entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Hey, you know him, you love him, celebrities. Fabulous. Fabulous. You know, two, like, huge icons of American pop culture. Pop culture? Is that what I said? Pop culture. (sighs) Yeah. And you don't hear too much about them. Who's that? They've been around ever since they were just little babies, the Olsen twins. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Kate, Mary, Kate, and Ashley. Yeah. And somehow they've managed to kind of fly under the radar for the most part because yeah. they do. That's good. But with all the movies they did in a series of videos, they did their own fashion lines. They were else. on uh, Full House. Yeah, thanks, John. No, they were. I don't know if you knew that, but they were on there. <laughs> number one, you may not know this, but for a number of years now, they are bona fide billionaires. Oh, yeah. Billionaires? Oh, Dude, what? No, How? Bill, what? Yeah, no, Bill. They still I got just, a fashion line I and they get told royalties. You movie series, all kinds of things. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. They made billions with that? Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Clearly, the other people thought those movies were way better than I thought it they were. It wasn't just movies. I mean, they had merchandise. I mean, th- those girls, and I'm You're sure they had now. a very good agent that made uh, sure that they were... Merchandising. <laughs> but <laughs> there is a little trouble in uh, in paradise after the news oh. broke that Mary Kate okay. filed an emergency order to divorce her husband of five oh, years. Wow. Oh, wow. That's too bad. That's too bad, yeah. Yep. Uh, who's she married to? Some, uh, some I, don't I don't know. Is he a billionaire too? Uh, he will be now. Probably, he's probably <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> wow. But apparently things got a little bit ugly. And then during this uh, whole virus thing, they were kind of stuck together. But then unbeknownst to uh, her, her husband had sold a house out from under her and oh. she had to vacate. I mean, all kinds of weird stuff is going oh. on. But the sisters are back together now trying to... Console each other and uh, figure things out. The uh, twins are, what, 33 years old these days? Sounds about right. Mary, yeah, Mary right. Kate uh, signed a petition to divorce. 50-year-old French banker. Oh, wow. He's 50-year-old uh-huh. French banker. <laughs> <laughs> His last name is Olivier. Oh, that well, sounds that made should up. have been the red flag right hmm. there. Anyway, Mary Kate was asking, you know, told him, hey, I need till till May 30th to get out of here. But things didn't quite work out that way. So now they're both back in New York, the uh, the twins. And uh, yeah, a little, little dust up there. But I think it's fascinating that they've been around forever. Like I say, huge mega stars, but you never hear anything about them. Right. You don't much anymore. And I kind of respect that. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not like yeah, good for them. It's not like they're running around looking for paparazzi. And as far as I know, none of them during this pandemic have posted selfies without makeup to tell us we're all in this together. But they so. should be, because aren't we all in this together? We're all. In this <laughs> it's like they don't care at all. Together. 
I did a band dance in my bathroom on TikTok. <laughs> you know, look at me. <laughs> Woo! I doing that, but as it turns out, I'm not on TikTok. I thought I was. I just like how John gets upset because they're rich. <laughs> I'm not upset. I was just I was bemused. Befuddled? I don't, know what I, was. I don't know if that's even a thing. You were a little, was, a little taken aback. I was not upset at all. I was actually kind of stunned. That the the again, that I've not seen. I've not seen their entire library of movies. I'm sure, but the ones that I have seen didn't seem like billions of dollars worth think, of acting. I don't think you were their target demographic. Probably not. Yeah, I watched it. The I was family, like, oh, no. the family industry, as far as films go, it's where it's big. At. Big, big. No, they bucks. did a series of videos, and this would have mm-hmm. been back. I think we're probably still talking VHS. Oh wow! Yeah, DVDs. oh yeah. But they did a bunch of movies. Yeah, Mary Kate and Ashley go to New York. Mary Kate and Ashley, blah blah blah. Everything was all Mary. Yeah, Kate and every Ashley. and every wow. young lady on the planet yep. was buying buying the stuff like uh, well, like hotcakes. That's awesome. Yes, they were. I don't think people are even buying hotcakes, but that's really <laughs> cool that they're uh, that they're into that stuff. Dan, thank you very much for taking the time to to share that with yeah, us. Yeah, sorry to rough. Your feathers no, right it's now. it's cool. I'm over here right now. I'm making a list because we need to get in. Need to get into the merchandising. We need to come up with some <laughs> stuff. I mean, tomorrow I'm going to have to ask. Start Ran- releasing some no, videos. I got to ask Ranger Dan because that guy has got it figured out. <laughs> he has got people eating out of the palm of his dirty, grubby little hands. Dirty, grubby. Oh, have you seen the guy? I'm just saying. I think we need to figure out. Gosh, John, he's part of the staff. He right? is. Barely. I make him stay on the other side of the room, but he's, yeah. I just think that we need to capitalize on this. So I'm going to think of some John and Heidi. Dip your beak in a little of that action. John and Heidi show action figures. I don't know. We'll think of something. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show bonus hour with Dan Ferris brought to you by Notary Barn. It's the craziest notary event of the year. It's crazy days at Notary Barn at Lake Lorraine. Not really a lake. The Notary Barn has gone crazy and you're going to get crazy savings on everything notary. Save 50% on marriage license applications, up to 60% on last will and testament notarizations, buy four gun permit notarizations and your fifth one is free. But that's not all. There'll be free balloons and face stamping for the kids. A free seminar on notaries through the ages, hosted by Notary Barn Assistant Manager Karen Lindquist, plus world-renowned notary and author Heidi Jean will be doing a book signing of her new controversial best-selling memoir, Rubber Stamping and Back Alley Vamping. Crazy days at the Notary Barn, one day only, this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the Notary Barn at Lake Lorraine. Not really a lake. South Marion Road, Sioux Falls. Now, more than ever, you need a credit card that offers what you need. Some cards have high rates. Some have annual fees. Some are just not very good. Usually people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If you've done that, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes. You may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card probably won't tell you, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at bettercreditcards.com. Here's your market beat minute. Blue chip stocks are among the safest investments in the stock market. This is because of rock solid balance sheets, stable earnings, and a focus on delivering shareholder returns. But there is a cost. Blue chip stocks are not known for their growth, so it pays to buy them when trading at a discount. There are many ways to tell when a stock is trading at a discount. The quickest method is the P.E. or price to earnings ratio. You can compare a blue chip's P.E. ratio to the broad market, sector index, or its own past P.E. multiples to gauge its value. In most cases, blue chips tend to trade at multiples well below stocks considered to be high growth. Regardless, investors looking for stable earnings from well-established companies are urged to turn toward blue chip investing. The long-term stability of blue chip dividend payments is a great way to mitigate risk in all market conditions. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.